Hey guys, I get asked quite a bit about my chart colors and uh, other trading view settings. So I thought I would just take a minute to make a very short video that kind of shows it all um, so that if anyone wants to know, they can just reference this. But so I use two different kinds of charts here. This is my main chart uh, and then I have a SMT chart. So it's slightly different. So on my main chart, if I go here to the candle bodies, it's just the normal white set at 85% capacity and then the blue the uh, down close candle I have this blue which um, I don't actually know there we go so that's the code I guess for that color blue um, my box color so this I have a gray box color so that's some of these I don't even use I should clean out I think I used to have like a London thing I don't use that but I have a gray color which is just the background. So it's this gray set at 20%. So it's pretty subtle. And then sometimes when I need to have a different color, I use this blue, which is again set at like 17%. And it's this blue right here. So those are normally what I use for boxes. Sometimes I'll use this pink outline just for the hell of it. Um, although not so much, but from time to time I bring it in as sort of like a volume imbalance and that's just a pink I don't know what that is I guess I have a custom it's this right here FF00 FF and 90% so that's that and then for my lines they should so I have a yellow for monthly level which I think is just the normal yellow with a 92%, pretty random. Um, and then I use, for daily levels, I usually use blue. So like PDL will be that too, previous day's high. And that is just, what is that color? That's what I use for lines. My weekly levels, I'll use red for weekly, generally. And I think that's just the normal red, just drop down to 92%. What else is interesting? I do use this dashed line. Like I also use that for, New York, for my um, New York Stock Exchange open levels, just to give it a little bit of a different look to my normal, uh, like buy side liquidity lines. And for that, it's just, I have a custom color here, right, which is that. And I set that to about 60%. And it's a dashed, dashed line. What else, what else, what else? Those are the ones I use. I have, again, I have, and I use this for, um, a, I call it a light white. So if it's just like a, if it's just like a buy side liquidity level, that's not a daily high or low, I will, um, usually I have it like that so you can see what I would say buy side liquidity BSL and that again is a just a normal white but it's reduced to about 42 percent and um, sometimes I like it without the label just want to line like that um, those are the colors for my main chart and then for my SMT chart oh you know what you might want to know the background color I guess right the background color is just this, this one right here, the third one in from the right. And then so on my a chart I use for SMT, I used to use this as my main chart, but this I use, uh, I just have the body. And so all of these are the same. That's why you get this kind of um, hollowed out look here for the down candle. But basically it's just this color right here, this blue right here set at 75 percent and then for the down candle it's just black and zero and that's it that's that all the way through for, for um all of these settings here and then for the background it's uh, the second one yeah so that's and that looks kind of nice too but i kind of like this this one that's what i normally use so Hope that answers all your questions about appearance and colors and everything of that sort and templates. 
Uh, if you have any other questions, let me know. All right, take care, guys. Bye.